<clears throat> What's good, everybody? It is I, once again, with the uh, second upload. And today, um, <clears throat> for some reason, it's going a little slow. Okay, give me one second. And we have returned. Today, <clears throat> for our second upload, we're going to play Super Castlevania 4. Now, in case you guys, you know, haven't checked out or, you know, watched the introduction or the opening to my videos, then you guys will understand why this game holds a special place in my heart. This was the first game in the Castlevania series I've actually ever played. Uh, I played them all, except the ones from Nintendo DS on up. Um, this game is awesome. Let's let's go do a thing. I don't know why I'm here. Wait, there we go. Okay, let's start. This game has probably one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard in any video game. What is this? Okay, I'll, I pushed the wrong button. Man. The first level soundtrack is, is awesome to me. See, I'm hoping that I can actually get through the gameplay without um good old nostalgia just whacking me. Um, I've actually never beaten this, but I've made it all the way to the end of the game. Did I just stop playing? I forgot how to jump. I'm sorry. It's been a while. Honestly, just in a rush to get to the first level. Because, you know. Oh boy. Wee. I don't want to take up too much time just on this one level. Because, like, you, it starts off with the slow music. And then as soon as you go into the room, everything just picks up. <laughs> and, and like, yo, imagine, imagine being six years old, playing this game for the first time, and you walk in here and this music starts playing. Sorry, y'all. We gonna, we gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. This music is nostalgic as hell. I can't grab that. I, I love this music, yo. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna go past the uh, first level. I'm gonna try, though. If I can, I will. But this music, though. Like, I'm trying to vibe and play at the same time, which is gonna get me killed. But, um. I can't help it. Oh my gosh, dog. Lil, like, I can only imagine the people in the studio who was just sitting there. And, um, you got homie on the piano, and I think you got the little trumpet or something in the background, and you got this little plan right here. Then you got, here go the, the horn in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, then you got the drums come in, then you got. Like, yo, you can't, you can't not say that that don't go hard. Yo, you can't. I'm on chill. I have to remember how to, how to push that. Yo. I can't do this. This music is distracting me. Like, this right here. Oh my gosh, yo. It just slows down right there. And like dudes just started getting it in on the uh man 
I forgot the person who um, recorded this, but they killed it. Oh, they started me back off for the. Alright, it's cool. I'm gonna get back there, no problem, because, like, it's been a while. I'm getting nostalgic. I spent mad hours on this game, and it's affecting me to get back into this. I had to play this at least once, and you know, I'm thinking if I'm gonna play it, I have to play it early throughout the video years, just because, you know. Um, it's this game, and the song is on my channel intro. So like, I'm right now I'm trying to vibe and play the game is getting me murdered. I should stop, but I can't. Which just brings up the question: Am I dying on purpose just to hear the music? That's up for me to know and for you guys to figure out. Yo, chill. I don't, man. Come here, bro. Like, I could've just ran by him. But then again, I'm thinking, you know, the music, though. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. <coughs> Excuse me. I really, really want to um, start break down and dancing. Cause yo, I was six when I was first introduced to Super Castlevania 4 and the Moonwalking Skeletons. Uh, and man, it was um, it was it was one of the best moments ever, and I think. This game alone, this was sprouted my love for um, retro game music. Um, Cause I'm a sucker for it. Like I'll listen to retro video game tunes all day long. Um, to be honest with you, there's only like maybe one or two songs from um, the newer consoles that I deal that I mess with. And I don't think one of them counts because it was a remaster. Because Generation 6, I keep forgetting about them. We had, um... I did that by accident. No. <laughs> I first, um, got this game when I was 6. But, you know, it wasn't like a birthday present or Christmas gift. Um, I had a friend who had this game. And I played it for the first time at his house when I was, when I was six. And, uh, um, he was like, hey, you go ahead and start a new game. It was already beat it. I'm like, cool. You know, I was introduced to this. And, um, <laughs> it was this music alone that made me really get into the game. And so, I'm like listening to it, I'm like, I gotta have this game, so I'm like, hey, you think I could get this up off you? And he was like, oh no, you can't. Because, um, you know, even though I beat it, you know, there's still some stuff I want to try and do. He's a completionist. He's actually the guy, only the one of the only people I know who um, literally works extremely hard for every trophy. And he's actually also the only guy I know who has all the trophies for Mortal Kombat, um, Complete Edition. Yeah, he worked hard for each and every one of them, even those horribles. You know, I can't give nothing but mad props. His completion is started out all the way from um, from um, Super Mario, Super Mario World, when he wanted to, you know, accomplish everything. You know, I can't get mad at. Him. I'm a semi-completionist, but I say semi because if I can't complete it, I'm not gonna keep doing it because I have rage problems sometimes. But yeah, so, anyway, I'm getting off topic. He, um, see, I guess I got lucky the first time. He, um, had this, and I just so happened to have had, um, this, this really weak-ass game. I forgot what it was called, but it wasn't something that people would want to play on purpose. It's something like if you came across the game, you know, you'll probably give it a shot. Um... It was called, um, Nambuga's Ambition or something like that. 
The game was weak. You know, we gonna put it like that. The soundtrack. Oh, there it is. I had to. Because, like, I remember, um, he can moonwalk up and down the steps and he can do this. One of the first games to actually feature this, um, one of the first games to actually feature this, actually. This is, like, the first step towards Ragdoll. I forgot how to make him moonwalk up and down the steps. But, um, yeah, he can do that. Anyway, so I was like, hey, yo, you should play this game called Nambuga's Ambition. Because, you know, at the time, he was like, he was five, alright? He, he's younger than I am. And, um, I, uh, I was like, yo, you should try this game right here. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't real hard to convince homie. Because, um, you know, he's young, and it's a video game. I forgot about this. This actually comes really good handy in this part alone. And, um, but yeah, I convinced him to trade me, um, this game for Nabuga's Ambition. Wow. That was, um... <sighs> we, we gonna skip back to my part. <sighs> okay, here we are. So, I, um... I convinced him to trade it for me. And, like, I owned the game for a whole year, right? And he came to me and said, dude, this game weak. I'm like, what, what you mean? He's like, man, you trade, you talk me into trading you Super Castlevania 4 for this game. I was like, yeah, man, I, I played that game all the time. Yeah, you didn't like it? Apparently he didn't. Um, I don't blame him. I hated the game, which is why I traded it in. But he, he caught on. And I can't be mad at it. <laughs> You know, it, it, it kind of backfired because he took the game back. And little did I know that a few years later, he was actually going to um, try some super revenge shit on me. And um, this guy, I forgot about this. I remember this a little bit. It's not one of the hardest bosses, but if you play this for the first time, it's going to be hard. Yes, I borrowed that. Yes, I borrowed that. I know I'm not. I'm probably. I might, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Yeah, but um. How I take that? That part right there. All right, y'all. We gonna end this right here. I love this game to death. I don't know if I'm going to play this game again for this channel, to be honest with you. I just wanted to give some people who didn't know, like, a taste of um, the awesomeness that is this game. Now, listen to the second level music. I forgot how to get out of this, but we done. Y'all, like, it was fun to go back. Because I haven't played this game in a long time, but the music has been stuck with my head for all these years. But, man... Yo, I love this game to death. I mainly played this game for the full purpose of just um, hearing the first level music again, which is why I'm not playing the rest. I, I appreciate y'all for joining me with the, on this journey. I'm sorry. I know some people um, also love the music. If there's a lot of people who out there who watches me who love retro games, like I said, retro game music or any game music in general is my favorite. Um, oh boy. I'm going to catch you guys later. This was the second video. They're both going to be uploaded on the same day, hopefully, because after editing and everything, it takes a little bit of time. So, as long as I get these up before 12 o'clock, I'll be happy. Alright, I appreciate all you guys who come in and watch me play old games badly. It, it, makes, it warms my heart, you know. You know, because we're growing together. You feel me? We're going together. And this has been Time Travel Gaming, y'all. And I'll catch you guys later on the other side. Peace and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.